I'm uh, Jack J. Welcome to the Riot API guide. I'm not going to monetize this video or anything, but uh, I will just do a shout out to my own product, which is the Itero Drafting Coach. It's an artificial intelligence tool that can optimize your draft by telling you which of your champions are the best to pick. You can either get it at itero.gg or you can get a downloadable version which comes into game with you uh, at Overwolf. Just search Overwolf Itero Drafting Coach. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to the second uh, video in the series on the Riot API. Now, the first video, we kind of just did an introduction to what the API is, how to use the, uh, the Riot console. And then we went into Python and we just found and sent off our very first API request and got some information about my account. Uh, that information was pretty simple. It was just basically our IDs um, and then my summer level. So pretty simple. Now this video, we're going to we're gonna uh, expand on this and keep building on these requests. Uh, and we're going to go from my summoner name to getting a summoner ID to then turning that summoner ID into a list of matches and then turning those list of matches into data about those matches. So to start off, uh, what we're going to do is go back to the portal, go back to APIs. And we're going to uh, look for the match one. So match V5 is everything to do with League of Legends matches. The first one, you give it a ID and it will return a list of the most recent matches on that account. The second two are to do with actual match data information. So you give it a specific match and it will say, uh, this one is kind of like summary information. And this one is timeline. So it gives you things like who killed who at what time and what time did you buy a certain item and how much gold did you have at 16 minutes or whatever. So the one we want to use is this because it uses this summoner ID and we can go back and it requires the PUU ID. So we go back into Python and we grab that PUU ID associated to my account. Now we're going to leave the optional arguments empty for now. I'll come back to them at another time. Now, just uh, one thing to note, key and eyes will, will have already seen it, but in my first video, I, uh, when we were sent off the first request in Summoner v4, you would have seen that this select region box was a lot longer and it had things like EUW1, NA1, etc. Uh, Match v5 is a more modern API and has the more modern right approach, which actually uses these uh, continental uh, regions instead of individual uh, regions within those continents. Now I'm part of EU West 1, so it's pretty easy to work out I'm, I'm part of Europe. Uh, but if you're not sure, it won't. I'm sure it won't take you long to work it out. So then we execute that request, uh, ensuring that I'm still using the development key. We head down, we get the 200, congrats. And then we get a list which contains uh, 20 games. So my most recent 20 games on this account. So let's get this into Python, exact same approach. We copy the request URL, we do uh, scroll down. We do API URL is equal to, and we send that off. Now we have URL stored in Python. Now, remember last time when we wanted to attach our API key, we had to say it's an argument by using this question mark, then saying API key and, and then giving the key. But this time uh, you'll notice that there's already a question mark because there's already arguments, these two here. So uh, we can't add an extra question mark at the end, otherwise it's going to be an incorrect format. So instead, what we have to say is here's an additional argument. And the way we do that is by the API URL plus and API key is equal to, and then we attach the API key. So you'll see that now it reads uh, the URL we want to hit, then the first argument being the start, the second one being the count, and then the third being uh, the API key, and they're separated with ands. So when we do requests, yeah, like URL, again, hopefully, yeah, 200, awesome. We make that the response, and then from the response, we extract out the JSON or the data. So here are my most recent matches, and there's 20 of them, and uh, the next thing I want to do is find out some information about those. Now, if you're new to Python, uh, the way to assign certain uh, variables within a list is just by doing the index so like this. That will give me the first, that will give me the second. And if you use minus, minus one would give me the last. So all I'm going to say is match is equal to matches zero. And then you can see that 
uh, from this big list that matches, I'm assigning the very first one to be called match. So this one here. Cool. So now the next thing to do is copy that. Head back to the right uh, API portal. Close this. And now we're going to use this one here, which requires a match ID, which we now have. Of course, if you want to find out more about what all this means, then please do have a good read, have a good look. Uh, but I'm just going to skip it for now and head down to where we can input the match ID, change the region, make sure I'm the right key, send it off. Oh, 200 again. Perfect. Now, the response body is much bigger than the last few. There's a huge amount of data coming back. Uh, so reading through this would, would be quite a lot of effort. So instead, let's get it into Python. Exact same thing again. Copy the request URL. API URL is equal to. Take a look at that URL. Now you'll notice there isn't an argument at the end here. So we go back to the uh, original approach, which is just typing in API, uh, sorry, question mark, API key. Now the important thing being the question mark rather than the and sign. You'll be able to inspect that and again send the request give the argument give a key and once again request get api url returns 200 and extract the data awesome so we now have the match data and there's a load of stuff that we'll be interested in here uh so for instance we'll have um and and, and this is a dictionary you can tell by uh, these, this here as an opener, uh, and when you have a dictionary, you can find out uh, the dictionary keys by typing in dot keys. Uh, apologies if you're not new to Python, and this is very rudimentary, but in case anyone is trying to learn Python at the same time, uh, I'll try to keep it quite basic. So the keys that we're getting out of the dictionary are metadata and info. So if we type map, match data, metadata, here's the information available there. Now this is uh, the match ID again, and then a list of all the IDs um, of people who are involved in this game. So this is a, uh, there's 10 IDs because it's obviously a 10-man game of some sort. And the other one was info, so we do match data info. And this one's a lot bigger, we've got a huge amount of data coming through. And we can tell it's a key, uh, it's a dictionary again. So we can just type in keys get a list of the sort of thing we're, we're getting from within this uh, within this dictionary. So the the time that the, it was created, how long the game lasted, uh, you know, is it is it ranked or is it normal? Is it Aaron or whatever? Um, but the thing that I'm interested in is this one here, which is participants. So type that in. Now you'll notice it's a square bracket this time instead, which means it's a list. And because it's a list, we can take the first item in that list. And this basically is telling us um, some information, some summary information about the first player in this game and, you know, how many assists they had, uh, how many kills, kill streaks, turrets, damage, experience, um, and then some more specific things about who they're playing. So we should be able to uh, find out there they are. They're in the top position for this one. We've got their summoner name. Uh, and Somewhere within here, we should also have their champion, their Garen champion name, uh, and wherever they won the game or not, so true. So basically, whenever you see things from UGG or OPGG that are telling you things like how much damage you do in a game, how many kills you got, what your win rate is, that's all coming from this uh, this API. So uh, we'll we'll close out this section of the video, uh, and the next one in the series. What we're going to do is start with our first loop and we're going to loop through all of the available games um, and start storing and summarizing the data so we'll be able to get things like average win rates. Okay, I'll see you there.